You can't explain driving this new Corvette. You've got a new engine, a new transmission, you've got the mid-engine. Um, there's a lot of newness about this vehicle that makes it revolutionary. Let's do a once-over of this once-in-a-lifetime vehicle. First, some interior conveniences. We have the glove box, which locks when in valet mode. There's an accessory power outlet here under the glove box for cell phones and other chargeable accessories. The center console storage compartment can be accessed by pressing this button. USB and auxiliary ports are inside. This compartment locks with the car and in valet mode. The electric parking brake is located here and can always be activated even if the ignition is off. This is how you use the available lumbar adjustment and bolster adjustment. The available head-up display control is here to the left of the steering wheel. To pair a phone, use the infotainment screen and select the phone icon, then connect phone, add phone. Now from your phone's Bluetooth setting, select the name of the infotainment screen and follow the instructions. For NFC pairing information and more, see your infotainment system manual. Now for the doors. If you've got your key fob within three feet of the door handle, just grip and press the door handle touchpad. If the vehicle has lost battery power, you can open the door manually with a key. If you're inside the vehicle and power is lost, to open the door, pull up on the emergency door release handle located on the floor next to the door sill. Here's where you release the hatch or trunk. You can also use your key fob or press the release touchpad here when the vehicle is unlocked. To close it, you just pull part way with light force and it'll go the rest of the way on its own. You can open the hood with the release button when the vehicle is in park. You can also press twice on the remote key or locate the touchpad in the grill opening near the driver's side headlamp. Press it once to release the hood. With any of these approaches, you'll then need to lift the hood slightly until it automatically raises and holds. Opening the hood with no electrical power should only be done in an emergency. Then you'll use the manual release cable located by the brake pedal. The hood is not heavy enough to latch under its own weight. It will remain open until the striker is pushed into the latch. Firmly press down on the front edge of the hood until it clicks twice. To access the battery, first the right hand and left hand side shields need to be removed. Then remove the second cover assembly. If your Corvette isn't driven weakly or the battery is disconnected or drained, you may want to opt for the battery maintainer package. Just plug it into a standard electrical outlet and then into the underhood accessory power outlet. It's recommended to use a battery maintainer. And you just keep that connected while you have your vehicle stored. So there's no worries when you go to start your vehicle after it's been stored for weeks or months um, and you can hit the road. But if you don't have one and plan to use your Corvette infrequently, you can remove the negative cable from the battery to keep it from running down. When the battery power is restored, the windows will need to be indexed by cycling them up and holding up for a second. If you ever have a loss of power, see your owner's manual. Lastly, do not take your Corvette through an automatic car wash. Some car washes may damage the wide wheels and tires and aren't compatible with Corvette's ground clearance. The safest thing to do is to hand wash your brand new baby. When it comes to how you drive your Corvette, it's personal. Your Corvette comes standard with the driver mode selector. On the mode knob, you'll find the preset weather, tour, sport, and track modes, as well as my mode. Z mode is accessed by the steering wheel button. The mode you're in is displayed here on the driver information center. Let's touch on when and why you'd use these modes. Weather mode is specifically for driving on wet or icy surfaces. It is not intended for use when the vehicle is stuck in sand, mud, ice, snow, or gravel. Tour mode is your default setting for normal city and highway driving. Sport mode is for when road conditions or personal preference demand a more controlled response. Track mode is designed for track use and gives you maximum vehicle performance settings. I love the sport mode because it gives you kind of that edgy feel and response as you're driving. When you're on tour, it's a little bit more quiet, a little more calm. It's the mode that you want to start your car in at 4.30 in the morning so you're not waking up your neighbors. Um, but that sport mode will definitely wake up somebody. It's got a nice, wonderful sound to it that you know that you're driving a Corvette with lots of power. There's nothing you need to do for these four modes. 
But beyond those, there are two modes that allow you to customize nearly every component of driving. Those are Z-Mode, your ideal setting for a spirited driving with more of a single-use application, and My Mode, used to personalize everyday driving as it can be left set over ignition cycles. Let's start with Z-Mode. My favorite mode is the new Z-Mode. That allows you to go into the infotainment screen and set each parameter, and then can be activated with a simple push of the steering wheel button. You can personalize almost every aspect of your experience by configuring subsystems including engine sound, steering, powertrain, and brake response. You may also have available magnetic ride suspension. Z-Mode is set from the factory with a combination of sport and track settings. To activate Z-Mode, press the button here on the steering wheel. To deactivate, either select a different mode through the Mode knob, or press the Z-Mode button again, which will set it back to Tour Mode. My Mode is very similar to Z-Mode, but lacks the powertrain configuring. It will let you home in on what feels best to you for everyday driving. My Mode is set in Tour settings from factory, but can be adjusted under Settings on the center screen. Mode features will vary depending on your Corvette's equipment. 